Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I think we have just experienced one of the wildest SBCs and wildest days of FIFA ever. Yesterday in FIFA 22 with EA Sports dropping that Verlin Mendy's footies SBC, but nobody expected what EA was going to do. Nobody expected 17 squads, 2.8 million coins in SBC value. And nobody really expected a position change as well, but that's besides the point. EA Sports, what are you doing in this SBC? I want to try to talk about it today. And again, just sit here and be shocked with you guys looking at this and wondering why did EA do this, man? So we're going to try to talk about it a little bit. Yes, I'm doing the SBC. No, you should not do the SBC unless you have a ton of coins and you just want to flex a card like this in your team because literally for... 2.6 million coins less, you can do the Barella SBC, which is not far off this card. So we're gonna talk about all of that and also how EA very successfully, in my opinion, killed some of the hype with their game yesterday with the vote that they released and what we now believe is no longer going to be a week of French FIFA with the focus on the France cards, but instead maybe a Bundesliga week, which might be viewed as a little bit less hype than a France week. So I want to take a look at all that. And of course, look for today on Thursday to be a sizable day of market movement because there should be a loading screen today showing us shapeshifters are coming back into packs. Those prices moved yesterday. I want to talk a little bit more about that in today's video as well. But if you're just as shocked as I am about this Mendy SBC, hit the thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new. Let's continue talking about it. So EA yesterday, they did release the Mendy. I was wondering if this was going to be on Friday. They just said, whatever, we're releasing it on a Wednesday. And one thing to note here is this is the first one that they have released that's called the Ultimate Footies Ferland Mendy. I don't know if that's just the ultimate name is because this is Ferland Mendy and because they know this is a FIFA favorite. And they just said, okay, we're going to make it an ultimate card and then require the ultimate utmost requirements for it. 17 squads. For this card i just don't know what ea is thinking with this i mean it is literally more expensive than the ronaldinho moments icon sbc uh that was released a couple days ago yes this card is absolutely fantastic five star five star high high 99 pace they added finesse shot trade he's got the flare trade he has absolutely ridiculous stats and he's going to be one of the best midfielders in the game bar none but still, the price here is what everybody is up in arms about, and what it, what's it's what makes this SBC literally the worst value for 99% of people on the game, the worst value SBC in FIFA history. I'm gonna go out and say it. Number one, because it is August 3rd, August 4th, and this card has dropped at 2.8 million coins worth of SBC value. Um, and again, like I mentioned in the first bit, there is a footies Barella that is not super far off this card. Yeah, it's a little bit worse in physical and, and in pace. It's got better dribbling, better passing, but the defense and the shooting are about the same. He's also five star, five star, and he is 172,000 coins. No, he's not French. No, he's not Real Madrid. And, you know, no, he's not Ferland Mendy, but still... Like the comparison between those two cards that you have had recently inside of footies, it literally just makes no freaking sense why EA went out and did this yesterday. Seriously, like we're just all in shock. And I think that's how we all felt yesterday at the content drop when we saw this SBC released. I, I mean, I went in here and looked at the SBC and I was like, what is this? Like I saw 17 requirements and then we have to turn in six team of the season players and three winter wildcards. I think it's the first time ever that they have required a different card type, like multiple different cards inside of an SBC, like as the only requirement, like that's crazy in its own right. And we had the first ever 91 rated squads last week and we had them again for Furland Met. It's just, it's crazy, man. Again, EA, are, <laughs> I guess EA didn't want people to do this SBC very much. Uh, or they wanted to reserve it for the ultimate top tier. And, you know, I just have a little bit of a feeling that this must have been some sort of test. This must have been some sort of test by EA to say, how crazy are people on this game to go out and do a stupidly overpriced SBC with never seen before requirements in August, by the way, when there's like a month left or less than a month left of this game, seriously, 
Uh, how, how crazy are people to go out and do this? And I guess they're getting their answer uh, by me doing this SBC. But seriously, guys, if you don't have a lot of coins and you don't want to try to craft this with the coins that you have, this is really not a good value SBC. It is going to be one of the biggest flexes in the game. It's going to be an insane card to have in your club. But if you don't have a lot of coins, this is really just going to be a, a, a craft and a grind. That If you don't want to put a lot of time in in August to like use this card for three, four weeks, until the game is over, then I would say it's not really worth your time. That's the perspective I'm coming from with this Ferlin Mendy. Um, it's again, it's it's just crazy. So we don't understand it, but we move on. And, and there's just a lot that we learn from this, really, because we were really hoping for that France-based week on FIFA. And like I kind of just mentioned, I think this SBC one killed the vibe for that, and two, the voting yesterday kind of killed the vibe for that as well. Instead of like believing that it could be a French week of FIFA, right? We don't have a dynamic duo that is leaked, so we look to the voting that is released every week to kind of give us a sense of where this week might be headed. Well, our vote yesterday was far from all France. We have one France player in there, Playa, but it is all Bundesliga players. Now, the winner is going to be a five-star, five-star card, which is nice. But this is, I think, for most people, I mean, I love Bundesliga, no problem with the league at all. There's some great players. I have a great Bundesliga squad. I'm sure a lot of you guys do as well. And it's going to be fun to have a Bundesliga Cup, most likely, right? But we had our sights set up here. I think even without us actually seeing a leak, and this is why I was trying to be careful a little bit in yesterday's video and say, we can't believe France just yet, but it really seems like it might be because days like this happen and we get disappointed and it sucks and it hurts um, when our expectations are up here and it feels like EA delivers down here. That's the worst part about this. Now, I'm not saying that these guys are, I'm not trying to disrespect Bundesliga or any of these guys at all, because like some of these cards could be nasty. Thomas Moynier, Kevin Prince Boateng, the FIFA legend, Playa, you know, he, he's had some good cards earlier on this year. Did he have the headliners card? I don't even remember. I think I'm actually thinking of Modest, had the Tots card with the hat dynamic. That's the card I'm thinking of. But I think this Thomas Moynier card would be a very welcome sign and sight in the game for Dortmund links. Five star, five star, be a great right back or a midfielder um, with the insane stats boots, of course. I know we have like the Costa and stuff, but this would give people another great chance at a Bundesliga right back. But there again, you feel like I feel like I'm making excuses for these guys and how they could be good in the game rather than looking at what could have been in the voting. You think about maybe a guy like maybe maybe a Pogba or maybe an Anthony Martial. There's so many other great French cards, Awar, that could have been in a voting for something like this. That we would have been like really excited about because they would have been very easy to plug into a team more meta i guess you could say and it would have been a chance to use and build some really insane french team so maybe that dream is still alive i'm still you know it, it seems like ea have something up their sleeve right now i mean with the whole mendy thing that was yesterday with this vote being a little bit different than maybe we thought it was going to be um but just specifically with this card it seems like EA's got something up their sleeve. Like I said, we don't have a dynamic duo that is leaked at the moment. Um, and, you know, I thought on the EA website for footies, it said that we were going to get a dynamic duo every week. Uh, maybe we're not getting one this week. I, I don't know. Unless we see a leak today or tomorrow morning early, that's got me thinking that maybe EA is mixing it up this kind of like last two weeks of footies. Um, and, and maybe they're really going to put the focus on cards that are going to be in packs. I don't know. Um, so we're kind of just still awaiting that and looking out for that. It's just a little bit confusing, right? That's the best word to describe what is going on in FIFA right now. People are shocked, confused, and questioning what in the world is going on after yesterday. So I would say this. If you do have a Bundesliga team, start to look at it. Because I know yesterday we were like, all right, guys, maybe look at your France teams. Start to build out those squads if you need any uh, if you have any holes in those, start, you know, filling those holes with some players off the market if you need to. And now today I'm sitting here saying, yo, guys, watch out for your Bundesliga teams. Um, you know, I've already seen some cards go up in price because of the Lacroix SBC. One item in particular that I look at is Manuel Neuer. He is not re-released in this batch um, right now. And his card has gone from like 60 or 70,000 coins. He's upwards of like 90 to 100K. 90, 87 on a little undercut right there. Pretty sure he's not in packs. Um, at the moment, I could be wrong about that, but if he is in packs, regardless, his price has still gone up a ton because of people knowing that Bundesliga is going to be coming. And of course, with the Lacroix SBC earlier in the week, that was a pretty popular SBC and you've already seen a ton of Bundesliga players go up in value. I think of like the left back Rusillian card, uh, that was a, an upgraded version 
from the fantasy foot upgrade promo like look at this guy man like he's a hundred thousand coins for a card at this stage that just probably shouldn't be 100k he's a perfect link to Laquado. though so he is up in price. So just be careful with your Bundesliga cards. I would say, you know, think about somebody like Alfonso Davies. Like, Nate, I want to go buy Alfonso Davies Shapeshifter for my squad this weekend. That's the hard part about this, right? Let's say, okay, I got to get my Bundesliga team ready. I might need a couple Bundesliga players. Well, you know, these guys are exactly the cards that we expect to be re-released in packs on tomorrow, batch number three, right? This would be the kind of card that I would say, okay, I'm going to pump the brakes on this, even if it starts to go up before Friday. If we do get a loading screen today on Thursday showing that shapeshifters are going to be back in packs, which I believe as long as EA are, are you know, kind of progressing through footies like we think that they are, and, you know, everything's kind of gone to planned up until this point today, and now it just throws us all off. But I still imagine shapeshifters in packs tomorrow and Friday. I don't think that's going to be any different. Batch three, they got to mix it up, right? They got to put the big boys in packs and shapeshifters are the only one left. So that I don't change anything there. I still think they're going to put those in packs. Um, and, you know, a loading screen showing a shapeshifter card on that screen today, I do think would make some more of your, especially middle to lower tier shapeshifter cards continue to drop in price. There have been some crazy movements over the last day with the Ferlin Mendy SBC being released. Ramos was down to the one twos after being 1.4 mil. He's now back up like 100,000 coins. Kyle Walker was at like 1.8. He's now down to like 1.5, 1.6. You know, these guys are all kind of still pretty rare moving around and fluctuating. But this is, I really feel like this is one of the, the final calls and one of the later calls. If you haven't sold any of your cards yet that are shapeshifters, especially, you know, a guy like um, a Delict or even a Claude Maurice or a Delane, like the middle to lower tier cards are the ones that I'm a bit worried about the most. Of course, a guy like Sané, if it's going to be a Bundesliga week, a little bit more hype on a card like him potentially, um, but still going to be re-released back in packs. So you need to be very, very careful. Same thing with Davies and St. Juice Day, but especially like a Spinazzola or a Kalulu, um, you know, or an Aubameyang, those types of cards, I think a tall would probably take a pretty sizable drop in price. Uh, in the next coming days just being in packs again. So that's kind of what we expect with that sort of stuff happening. Now, with the Furlan Mendy SBC dropping yesterday, which I have to point out, 96% downvote with 8,000 votes. Um, and as of right now, this card is on track 15,500 downvotes in the first day. This card is on track to be, I believe, the most downvoted. Okay, it's on track. It's right behind Aubameyang, which Aubameyang, you know, he's going to pass him because Prilin Mendy's only been out in the game for, you know, a, a day. The only more disliked player in FIFA 22 is Mason Greenwood, and we, we, we know why that's there. But uh, Prilin Mendy is going to basically be that top SBC spot of the most hated card in FIFA, if you will, based off the number of upvotes and downvotes, which is kind of crazy to see. And of course, with this SBC not being one that so many people went out and, and wanted to complete yesterday, or, or actually were completing, a lot of your cards that were rising up in price because of links to the what we thought was going to be a left back for Len Mendy, Example would be Vinicius Jr., Eder Militao, even this Usman Dembele, right? Maybe some of your Tots cards that were also Real Madrid. My boy Eder Militao is down horrendous. Of course, 2020 hindsight, right? It would have sold right here for 300K. I bought a bunch at like 250, a bunch by meaning like four of them. Uh, he went up to all the way to 300,000 coins, died to like 200K flat, and is right now about like 230, 240. I'm probably going to take the losses here, cut the uh, cut the cord on this Militao, and I would kind of do the same. If you have Militao, if you have Vinny Jr., especially with the way this weekend looks, you know, and these cards could potentially still be in packs, some of the team of the seasons could be, then I would take the cash on those 100%. Same thing with like an Usman Dembele, who was, I believe, 600K yesterday. He was 580 right around the content drop and went back to like 500 and is now back up to like 520, 530. You know, you had a lot of cards that were up. They went back down and you had two cards in particular, but this one Marcella right here, crazy fluctuation yesterday. And the flipping graph is not going to do it justice because this card went from 270,000 coins at the content drop yesterday when Ferlin Mendy was released and he wasn't a left back and he was stupid expensive and, and nobody was going to go and do him, right? Or so very few people were going to go and do him. This Marcelo, it shows 433,000 coins. I wonder if I can go into the sales history here and see and show you guys how crazy the price rises were. And so many people went back and bought this card. 
Uh, let's see. 260, 260. It's going to be tough to see when he like actually spiked, but he went to like 380. You see a 420 in there. Like this Marcelo was actually selling at 500,000 coins plus 408, 385. People started buying it on the way down. And you know, now his price is chilling around that 360K range. But this Marcelo literally went from 270 to 600K, 5, 600K, as it's a rare card in the game. And so many people were rushing back to the market to go buy their card back that they had panic sold, expecting a big SBC. And instead what they got was the most overpriced SBC ever. So they went back out and they bought their cards. That was probably the craziest movement on the market from yesterday with that Marcelo card. It was just, it was absolutely nuts. So yeah, that's that's kind of what happened on the market yesterday. SBC fodder, oh, of course we have to talk about fodder. We did have the voting day SBC yesterday, um, which you know, supplied cards tradable on the market. And, you know, some people doing footies for Lenmendi, but not that many. And it's actually got fodder prices down at the moment, lower than where they were yesterday. I don't think that I would be buying them today, though. If you guys remembered, like, last Thursday as well was a day where fodder prices didn't move that much. Because, yes, we do get some of the SBCs, like, repeatable again, the 90 times 7 the 86 plus player pick. It is not an 85 times 10 day. And I want to talk about the 85 times 10 just a bit at the end of the video in a second here as well, uh, because I know some people are expecting some things of that SBC. And I, I don't want people to be, again, setting themselves up for disappointment based off that 85 times 10. But 84s are kind of back down. 83s are back down, making SBCs just a hair cheaper. Um, and, you know, your gold rares are back down as well, like one point to 1.3k i was paying like 1.7 for player picks earlier in the day but it's just because of that little bit of supply a voting day sbc like this that basically everybody goes out and does and um you know that that supplies the market a bit you also have rewards today that could drop some prices on the market people do still take tradable rewards i also think there's some people that are saving packs for friday with batch three so you know if you're crafting player picks I think you have to be prepared to be spending 1.2 to 1.5K per gold rare. You know, I've been going out there and doing that to try to get this Mendy done sooner rather than later. Now, I want to talk 85 times 10 just really, really quick because some people are like, yo, Nate, I'm going to be able to do Mendy once the 85 times 10 comes out repeatable, which, yes. And one thing I didn't mention when we were talking about Mendy earlier is that he is, uh, he's up for only two weeks, which I think if you're going to make him the price of an Icon SBC, then you should have made this guy available for at least a month. Like this, this should have been available for 30 days and not 14 days. Again, just making it another reason why it's probably like the biggest flex of any card to have in FIFA right now, or probably for the whole year of that matter. But anyways, um, the 85 times 10 is refreshing on Friday tomorrow. And I've heard a lot of people saying that, yo, Nate, on Friday, the 85 times 10 is going to be unlimited repeatable. And I'm going to be able to craft Mendy. I don't believe so because... This SBC does not expire until Monday, right? Monday is when we get the new 85 times 10. And I don't know if EA, after they release an SBC, can change the timer or make it like, let, let's say, again, it refreshes on Friday. I don't know if they can make it repeatable two times on Friday or just keeping it at one time. Like they could maybe increase the number of times repeatable that we could do it, or they could decrease the refresh time. But this is not going to be a truly repeatable and unlimited repeatable 85 times 10 until at least Monday. And even then, I think it might be a bit early. We'll have to see. But some people are like, on Friday, I'm going to be able to do unlimited 85 times 10s. And that's probably not going to be the case. So I just wanted to say something about that. Now, one thing that is going to help people craft this Mendy, which if you're on the boat of like, all right, I'm going to try to get them done with swaps packs and stuff like that. I 100% get it. I think it is grindable. I think it's craftable. Let's say if you skip the 90 times seven, or if you skip all of these like shapeshifter player picks, the hero captains, 93 plus moments, if you skip all of that stuff, you'll be able to get a Furlan Mendy done in the time period that it's allowed. If you still have a lot of coins and you can do a lot of player picks and stuff like that, and you do the, the 85 times 10, because that's going to give you some good value players for it too. But with the swaps rewards, as you guys know, Summer Swaps 2, it's not this Friday that we get the rewards. It is next Friday. The fodder packs that will be available at that time should help you get some of those players that you need and fodder that you need to get the SBC done. It'll just be towards the end of the window when Ferland Mendy 
is available. So that's just kind of one thing to watch out for. Another small tip I want to watch, just kind of say and talk about here for a second is one of the weird things they did inside this Mendy is they required four different cards, winter wild cards, future stars, foot birthday, and team of the season. Now, these have all been in packs from batch one and patch two, not tots. They've only been in batch two. I would be very careful. And on Friday, I would check and see if winter wild cards, future stars, or for birthdays, if EA are not thinking things through here, which could be very possible, if they don't re-release any special cards back in packs that are this variation, this um, promo, right? These promo cards. These guys are probably going to rise slowly over that batch three time period that Mendy is available. So if there is no winter wild cards, future stars, or foot birthdays in packs on Friday with batch three, I would say go out to the market, buy a couple of them, um, and the, maybe the last one or two or three that you need to get it done, if, if that's something, um, as you've been doing player picks, that you save those cards if you are wanting to do Mendy. Because I could see EA very easily overlooking that or not dropping very many of them in packs. And I could see that A, as an investment, or B, you could see those cards go up and you might want to take action sooner than later. So that's just kind of one thing that I was thinking about here in the last minute of the video uh, that might be helpful for you guys that are kind of eyeing up that Ferlin Mindy card. So again, it's just an absolutely wild day. Wild day because we did not expect that kind of Ferlin Mindy at all. Again, I, I even said in yesterday's video, three to 500,000 coins when every single other SBC inside of footies has been under 300k ea drops us a 2.7 million coin furlan mendy i'm still scratching my head we're going to be talking about this for years to come as the furlan mendy sbc that uh ea released is probably the worst value sbc ever so let me know down in the comments what you think again i really feel like it's not worth it unless you have a lot of coins or if you just want something to grind for i'm not hating on it all i'm not telling you you can't do it i'm just saying it's way more effort than we should have to be putting in for an SBC at this stage of the game. But those are my thoughts. So again, if you enjoyed the video today, put the thumbs up on it. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you on the Twitch stream today. Link down below in the description. We'll see what EA has for us on a Thursday. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.